Hello, and welcome to our program regarding reopening the physical workspace and returning employees to the office. My name is Aaron Tandy, and I'm going to lead the discussion today about some practical tips for reopening the physical workspace. As you know, the fact of the matter is that we are all transitioning away from remote working and moving back towards a physical return to the office. A number of companies have announced that they expect workers to return by various dates in August, September, and as late as October in New York, in California, Chicago, Atlanta, and even where I am here in Miami. But it's not going to be like turning on a switch. You're not gonna say, all right, yesterday you were working remotely, today you're working from the office, pretend that COVID never happened and hey, we're all back and it's just gonna be business as normal. If that's what you or your employees expect or your managers expect, I'm here to disabuse you of that fantasy. The fact of the matter is that over the last year, as employers and employees embraced a different work structure, people got used to some of the benefits and limitations that exist in a remote-oriented workspace. For a lot of employers, the last year has been a bit of a pause. What I mean by that is they made accommodations to get projects done, to be productive, to service their clients, to scramble to embrace technology that for a lot of them, they had resisted in years past. But for a lot of traditional employers, the COVID experience was not a sum plus game or gain. What I mean by that is many traditional employers who are clients of mine have complained that they are unable to promote or evaluate employees, especially new hires, or incorporate new people into existing teams in a COVID remote workspace. What that means is that for many people, their careers have been put on pause and opportunities for advancement have not occurred. I'll give you one example. I know a client that had prior to COVID plans to expand their operating stores, I won't name the type of business, by 10. How were they going to do this? They were gonna do this by promoting field leaders to office managers. They had been successful in years past in doing that, in taking people who had led field teams on various projects throughout the country and promoting them to running an office. Not always successfully, but for the most part, positively, and they had been successful using this model. Unfortunately, that evaluation and promotion structure did not work in a remote working environment because the employer and its management team had trouble evaluating the manner in which team leaders worked directly with their subordinates 
in a Zoom environment. While projects got done and clients' projects were completed, many people expressed their frustration at the management level that Zoom did not really allow for an evaluation of the management skills that they needed to select an office manager for a new location and provide that person with the tools they needed to succeed. As a result, this particular employer is been chomping at the bit to get people back into the physical workspace. 